sweet life, sweet life, sweet life. Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made this strawberry and flower tower. First I'm just washing my strawberries. I do wash them in water with a little bit of vinegar. I do not soak them because I do find that it makes them get soggy. So I'm going to dry them in a paper towel. I'm going to make sure they're completely dry. You don't want any water or moisture on your berries because we are dipping them in chocolate and you know oil and water does not mix now we're going to get the berries onto some wax paper and before i put them on the wax paper i'm just going to make sure they're completely dry again as i'm taking them out one by one I did want to add this arrangement I'm actually making for a dinner party. If you guys are familiar with Dinner and Blanc, that's where I'm going. So this is for our table. We have a table of four. So this is going to act as our centerpiece and as our dessert. And if you stay tuned to the end, I will show you a picture of it set up at our table. So now we're going to get a toothpick into each berry. Sometimes I put two toothpicks into my berries, but today I'm just going to put one toothpick into each berry. And that toothpick is going to help us when we're actually dipping them. It gives you a little handle to hold the berry while you're dipping it into the chocolate where you can get more chocolate on your berry without actually getting any chocolate on your fingers. So you guys should already know we're going to be dipping them into almond bark, my absolute favorite. So we're just going to break that off into the squares and we're going to get that into a bowl. Once we get into our bowl, we're going to go into the microwave and we're going to do increments of 15 to 20 seconds. We're going to stir it in between and it actually went for three rounds of 20 seconds. And then it was just a few lumps left and we're just going to stir the rest of those out and it is ready to go. We didn't need any additional oil or anything. And this is why I love almond bark. You guys already know. So now we're going to transfer our almond bark into a small cup because it's actually easier to dip the berries in a small deep cup rather than a bowl. So we're going to grab all of the leaves and that toothpick that we stuck into the berry and we're going to give it a good dip and then a wiggle. At this point, I just went into strawberry dipping mode i totally forgot that these berries have to be stuck into a styrofoam like they have to be stuck facing up as you can see now you cannot dip these berries and then sit them flat you need the full berry to be covered because it's going to sit like a flower so if you just dip them and sit them flat they're going to have that flat bottom that is not the look that we're going for. We want them to be fully covered because we want them to look like flowers. So you will need a piece of styrofoam to stick them in so they can dry upright. Just as if you were doing like um, cake pops, the cake pops that actually stand up. And for this step, I think that if you're doing this, you should use skewers instead of toothpicks and the reason is especially if you're a beginner or this is your first time doing it the reason is it doesn't give you much room between the styrofoam and the berry to actually place it into the styrofoam so if you're not careful you will get chocolate on your fingers and maybe mess up your berries so if you did use a skewer 
it will be longer and it will be easier for you to actually stick the skewer into the styrofoam without messing up your berry or getting any chocolate on your fingers. So I do recommend that you use the longer skewers instead of toothpicks for this step because it'll make it much easier. Okay, so this next group of berries, we're going to dip exactly the same way that we dip the other berries, but we're actually going to get silver, um, like sugar sprinkles on these. And so we're going to get them on there while it's wet. So after we're finished dipping um, the berry, we're going to turn it upright and then we're going to get the silver sugar sprinkles on the tip of the berry. Remember when you're doing um, when you're sticking these um, in there, the point of the berry is what people are going to see because that's what's going to be sticking out. So you want to make sure the point of the berry is decorated rather than the base of the berry because you won't really see the base where the leaves or anything is. You can actually you can actually remove all the leaves for this um this design, actually, because you won't really be able to see them because the leaves will be the ones that are stuck closer to the styrofoam. So you don't actually need the leaves. So that's why I'm only putting the glitter um, sugar at the tip of it because they stick outward and that's the part that you'll see the most. Okay, so now on the plain berries, I'm just using a Ziploc bag with some of the leftover almond bark to get a drizzle onto these berries. You can do both sides of these berries if you want because they will be sticking out and you can see the top and the bottom. But I'm only going to do one side and we're just going to do drizzle lines straight across each berry on all the plain ones. So we'll have about half of them with drizzle lines and about half of them with the sugar sprinkles. Okay, now we have all of our berries decorated. So I got these two styrofoam, the cone and the cube from Dollar Tree. And so when I saw the cone, I didn't think that the cone would be big enough for this project. Um, I know they do sell the bigger ones at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels, but I got that one from Dollar Tree. So my mom had the idea to stack the cone on top of the cube. So that's what I'm going to do to actually make it taller. And I just shaved off the side to make it just a little bit more circular. You don't have to try to get it completely circle because um, once you stick all the berries and the flowers, you won't be able to see it. You just don't want it completely squared. That was also my mom's idea. Shout out to her. And so now I'm sticking a skewer through the whole thing and I hot glued the cube to the cake board and then the cone to the cube and I stuck a skewer through the whole thing. So now it doesn't move. You do want to make sure you secure it down to the cake board because um, if you don't, when you stick everything in, it'll just be slipping and sliding. And especially when you're trying to transport it, you want... Um, that cone and that cube or if you just get one of the larger cones you can you don't even have to get that cube at all you can make a smaller version and just use the cone or you can go to one of the craft stores and just get a bigger cube so you don't even have to worry about doing that but um if you want to save a few dollars um and go to dollar tree like i did you can absolutely do this step okay so now i'm getting the artificial roses 
onto the bottom of the cube. So I've removed them all from the stems and then I'm placing a toothpick into the bottom of the styrofoam and I'm kind of placing it upward and then I'm just sticking that um, rose onto the toothpick. You can you absolutely use real roses if you'd like. I am placing the roses about an inch or an inch and a half apart. So once you place that one rose, you want to put your net, your toothpick about an inch um, apart from the last rose just to give you room. Um, you don't want to put the toothpicks too close together because then your roses will be bunched up. You want to actually give it room where they all can like sit individually. And you can absolutely, like I said before, you can absolutely use real roses. You can do this in any color. You can do a mixture of colors, whatever you want. But I did get the base down. So the bottom row is all roses. So now I'm going to go in between the roses and I'm going to again place those toothpicks in at an angle. And about an inch apart and we're going to get the berries on just like that. We kind of want to try to make them fit in between if you can kind of offset them. If you can, it's kind of difficult to try to get them exactly in between. But if you can, so I'm just going around with um, my toothpicks and I'm angling them going up and then I'm going to stick my berries on to the toothpicks. And for your reference, I did use about 22 berries. And if you notice, I'm not actually sticking them in with the toothpick that they were already on. Because I know you may be thinking, since they're already on a toothpick, why not just stick them in? I mean, you could possibly do that. But the reason that I'm not doing it is because we already used that toothpick to dip the berries and do the drizzle and everything. So it kind of probably made like a, a bigger hole into the berry. And we want to make sure that we stick the toothpick in at an angle so we can see how we're sticking the toothpick in. If you stick the toothpick in with the berry already on it, you may not be able to get it completely at an angle. And so you do want a fresh toothpick um, and then you want to make a, a separate hole when you're sticking that berry on. You don't want to try to stick that berry back in the same hole that it was because you'll have a chance of it maybe falling off because that hole did get a little bit bigger. So that's why we're using a brand new fresh toothpick and we're sticking it at an angle so we can see. And then we're just placing the berry on that way instead of using the same toothpick that it was already on. And as you guys can see, I'm about half only not even halfway up the cone. And I at this point, I ran out of flowers and I only had about four berries left. I completely underestimated how many berries and how many flowers it was going to take me to complete this project. So I actually ended up stopping at this point, going to the store and buying more roses. Guys, I wish you guys could see my face in this clip. I'm just looking like, what in the world? Like, I totally underestimated. These cones really take a lot of flowers and a lot of strawberries to complete. And this is why you guys can charge a lot for them if you're making them. This is already about two dozen berries and as you can see, it was already two bunches of flowers and I had some additional flowers and that was not enough. So basically three bunches of flowers and two dozen berries was not enough to cover this cone. I had to go and buy additional um, roses. And because this is just a centerpiece um, for a dinner party, it was just for four people. I would have made more berries, but I didn't do that because I feel like it was already too many berries for just the four of us. So I just decided to fill in the rest with flowers. You absolutely can fill yours in with more berries or you can choose to spread out your strawberries more um, than I did. You can do it however you want. But just for your reference, this is about two dozen berries. And then I um, ultimately end up using about five bunches of the flowers. As you can see, I went and bought additional flowers. So now I have the little mini roses and then I have two more 
of the bigger roses and so i'm just gonna go in like i was before sticking the toothpick and we're gonna fill it in with flowers because like i said since it was only for the four of us i didn't want to put too many more berries because it was just a centerpiece um for four people so i'm just going in the same way and sticking those toothpicks in and sticking the flowers on there and then we're gonna use the little tiny um roses which was good that i ended up going back to the store because they didn't have those tiny roses before but they did have them when i went back and so we're going to use those little tiny roses to fill in all of our gaps and because my whole arrangement is white this is why i left my cone white but if your um arrangement is a different color you can cover your cone in chocolate or fondant or um you can um use like little tiny flowers or um to fill in um like i'm gonna do with these little tiny roses And there we have it, guys. Like I said, you absolutely can add more berries to yours. But I decided to just fill mine in with more flowers because I just didn't want to have so many wasted berries. And so now I'm taking the little artificial baby's breath. And I'm just cutting those little sprigs. And I'm just also sticking those in little holes just to give it a little bit more character and texture. But this is how it turned out guys i am very very happy with this i hope you guys give it a try if you have any questions any comments don't forget to leave it down below but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye